Okay, here we're going to look at uh, completing the strap clamp. Should have the base extrude produced, and you can see that in the feature tree. Okay, we're going to cut the angles at the front and back edge of the clamp. We we'll start a sketch on the front plane. Now we use the normal two button. It helps us to uh, you know sketch what we want to in a, a sort of 2D um, view. Uh, when we sketch these lines, uh, we make sure we get the relations that we want. You know, the combination of relations and dimensions will define the sketch. So one dimension. This metal sketch should be uh, complete, fully defined. Okay, the sketch was drawn onto the front plane, which hopefully, if your model is the same as mine, will go through the center of the clamp. So when we produce the feature cut, extruded cut, we want to cut in both directions rather than just the one. If we're using one direction, we can change the direction of cutting, but we'll check the box to cut in direction two as well as direction one. And we'll cut through all in both directions. Now we can edit this sketch. Make sure you don't insert new sketch. And we can cut uh, two areas rather than just the one area. We'll just be careful not to overlap the sketches. So that we've got two distinct um, areas for SolidWorks to cut. And we'll remove that, that dangling entity there, which wouldn't work for us. The Smart Dimension tool. That can be used to input angles. I'm going to show you that again. So smart dimension and then select two edges and then place the dimension and input an angle rather than a linear distance. Now if you find your sketch has gone oversized like that you can actually just drag the endpoints or apply the dimension. When we close the sketch, exit the sketch, uh, we rebuild to see both angles are cut in two directions. The feature is unchanged, the sketch data changed. Uh, a flat surface on a model is a planar surface so we can sketch onto it. Again, just check you're inserting a sketch and not editing the base sketch for that feature. And here we're going to use the slot tool. We use a straight slot. Just checking that it is um, horizontal to the origin. And it's a click at each point and then a click to apply the, the radial size and we can fully define this sketch using model edges if we want to. The final piece to add there is the radius of the slot or the distance across flats would we'll do the same thing. And again, we're going to cut through all. Through all is, is a good technique to use. You could cut blind 25mm, it would give you the same result. But if you wanted to go and edit the first feature and change it to 26mm, you'd find your cut would need updating as well. So through all, you know when you rebuild the model, you will always be cutting. Through. Chamfer tool, you can select more than one edge 
and tangent propagation means um, any filleted or tangential faces or edges will um, will propagate around those. Um, if you don't see a preview, just check the preview um, options. So a partial preview or a full preview. And if your graphics are running slow, you might choose to run no preview. And there we have the clamp body. Uh, check out the website and the blog for more information. Thanks for watching.